Hi everyone, Intuitive Healing Quantum Healing. Let's go dive deep in today. Let's go dive deep in. Very truly, let's go dive deep in to your subconscious mind. What I would like to say about it, I would like to say something around what if one day you're going to realize everything what you're going through and everything what you've got now in your life is you, is you, literally is you, everything, any kind of the struggle, any kind of the obstacle, any kind of the things you're going through, that's you. You've just created that stuff. You've done straight away that stuff long time ago when you came here on the planet Earth. Definitely like that. Because you are the creator of your own life. You are the creator of your own reality. Why I'm saying this? I'm saying this because it's the reason behind it. Everything what you're going through now, like I said at the beginning, you've designed this and also you've got the capacity inside you and possibility inside you and all the beautiful tools inside you change that stuff so that's why that's why i'm just only coming here what if you're realizing everything what going through is yours is yours and every kind of the obstacles you can manage you can handle it the only thing you need to tap into your own inner knowing to your own gift to your own secret how you can do that, stay tuned at the end of this video because I'm going to unravel something for you and you'll be know how to navigate this world. I just only came over beautiful stuff in my life a few days ago when I realized, oh my goodness, that's mine. That's definitely is mine. I created that stuff. I created that struggle. I created that not being loved, not being seen, not being heard. That's true. That's true. I know that's difficult to grasp. You don't have to believe in me. You need to go through that process because as long you're not going through that process, you won't be able to understand that. So understanding is coming from you, from learning the lesson. So that's the wisdom is coming from. You need to realize, you need to feel it, you need to experience. Because when you're feeling something, when you feel something inside yourself, then you can able to learn the lesson. You're able to take that own responsibility to go through and go forward. So I couldn't stress enough. When you start realizing, oh my goodness, that's me. That's me. That pattern I didn't break through. That pattern I'm repeating constantly. That limiting beliefs, that shame, that guilt, that victim position. Or saying to yourself, always procrastination word. Oh, no, no, maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. Or maybe not tomorrow. Maybe in the next couple of the years. But what if the tomorrow never come? What if today is the last day for you on the planet Earth? By the way, just go and have a look at my new website. I've got a lot of beautiful stuff on my new website. So straight away. And linking tree as well. Subscribe my channel if you're watching me from the YouTube or just from the Instagram. Just only follow me. For more information and for more knowledge and activation code. Because through my speaking, I will be activating somebody and I'll be activating maybe you because you are here for the reason. So definitely you are here for the reason. So what and when you start realizing, oh my goodness, that's everything is happening for me. Everything has got a beginning and end. Everything got the cause. Everything got the, I would like to say, reason is happening for you. You've designed to learn that lesson. You've designed to get that knowledge and get that information you've designed that some kind of the situation in your life they're going to you're going to learn from it and then you're going to apply it and you're going to change it because probably in the previous lifetime you went through something difficult something challenging and you didn't have that tools you promised yourself long time ago but you didn't do it you didn't manage because you didn't have enough strength inside you you didn't have enough confidence inside you by the way the confidence is not happening over the night the confidence you need to build over and over and over you need to get out from the comfort zone you need to go outside you need to train yourself restore and again train yourself train yourself like uh, taking the cold shower a really freezing cold shower and i'm taking it in the morning which is only getting up from the bed when it's really really i would like to say cozy and nice like uh, for me today this morning was like a saying, oh my goodness, maybe I'm going for a sleep again. But at 5.30, I just only got up and just only went for the run. That was a challenging for me today because my body was aching because I had a lot of exercise um, yesterday, a lot of body weights. But anyway, exercise. But I got up. I get up 
I get up and just only went for that run. And do you know? How is that? Did you know how is that feel afterwards? It's amazing. It's amazing. Push yourself. Just go through it. It's not the kind of the things push and force, push and force. Okay. It's not I'm talking about that stuff. But you need to put it yourself sometimes in the uncomfortable situation and that not really comfort zone. That will be preparing you. That will be preparing your mind because the mind is all of, um, I would like to say, all of it. Because you're living in the mind uh, constantly because the mental, the mind trick is completely mental. Everything is in your head, past, present, future. You're not traveling literally today, for example, now, to the past, like taking your body. Okay, you can take it, your body, of course, but there's a much more longer process to unravel that skills and just only find that technology okay but you can do it through your conscious the conscious that's conscious rise up your conscious level and the perspective oh my goodness is going to change and it's going to unravel very quickly for you that's so amazing it's so amazing thank you so much for the truth yeah that's amazing i love you i love it so definitely rise up your frequency rise up your consciousness in other words rise up uh, yourself each day, each day, set up the small goals, set up the small challenges. Actually, you don't have to because that challenges will be unraveling for you anyway, etc. So what you need to do, just only put the intention and everything will be just coming straight away. So when you start realizing everything is you, you're standing in your way. You are just only repeating that pattern constantly. Just only take a small step, a baby step and slowly, slowly releasing that stuff okay so how you can do that first of all you need to just only be aware you've got something inside you you're in the program because the program is in the program okay so we've got the program in the program in the program like a russian doll do you know that's doll in the doll in the doll in the doll okay so that's you are in the program so you that's the kind of the onion you're peeling and peeling off peeling off so nothing is wrong nothing is bad everything is good for you if you would like to have that good if not, that would be a no good. But definitely what I would like to say, unravel, just only make sure, okay? Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, can you please guide us how to choose what important than what comfortable? Oh, what is important, what is comfortable? Okay, in a minute. By the way, so that's why, that's why you need to be aware. You've got that stuff inside you. You've got that pattern. You are aware of that pattern. And now it's a willingness. If you're willing, you can change it. If you just only say, okay, I'm going to change it. I'm changing. Actually, no, I'm going. Don't say I'm going because that's your postpone and never come, come back. But I'm changing that um, beliefs. I'm changing that pattern. Um, I'm just only stopping that being the victim position. And that's all, completely. And then start changing. Reach me out. Go on my YouTube channel or just only go on my website and you can go and have a look. Because you going, when you're going to sign up for my newsletter, that's the amazing stuff. When you're going to sign up for my newsletter, I prepare something for you. It's completely for free. That's the exercise for the limiting beliefs, for that patterns. Let me know. Just go, download, just make that exercise slowly, slowly, step by step and reach me out and tell me how is that works for you? And what did you change? What did you unravel? I'm so curious. Just go on my website and just go have a look. Um, oh, really? I don't know what's going on. Okay, let me just only come closer. So can you please guide us how to choose what is important than what comfortable? Okay, what is important for you? That's your intuition. What is comfortable for you? That's your ego. The ego love it. The ego love it. For example, I can give you that example. Okay, can I get up? Okay, so the intuition is guiding you. Like for me, for example, for me in this morning, I woke up and I didn't plan run today. I was just only plan work out, but I didn't plan go and running. So I felt that intuition. I felt that um message which i have received in the morning go for a run that's really good for you you can breathe more you can oxygenate your body so i decided okay yes i'm going so i didn't question i didn't question that wasn't any questioning about it if i'm going to question or oh, maybe not mm, so then let's go to do the workout so that's comfortable and uncomfortable do you know what i mean the ego love to do the things comfortable and the ego love to do the things you know, okay? For example, sometimes you plan it, but do something 
something what your intuition is choosing for you okay because you will be guided through your inner knowing through your god sorry about the communication so that's definitely definitely is not from my side but maybe the different energy is working um yeah behind the scene who knows who knows so that's why that's comfortable and uncomfortable please get your yeah that's right the important things for you how you feel what you can get from it and how the other is going to feel is anything is coming um, from that situation or from that um, i don't know the guest or gesture or just only word something good that is really important for you for your grow okay is something is giving me benefit for my health mind body and spirit for example that's the important things for you okay to be aligned with your highest self be on the right path a comfortable things is like a things you're just only constantly repeating and sometimes without knowing you are repeating them no judgment at all around it so that's why on my program um i mean program see so that's why on my uh, one of the offer is like a reprogram your subconscious mind because we are the program we are the program we just only putting in ourselves the program which one is good for us how we would like to navigate this world how we would like to go and experience our world so definitely like that oh thank you thank you for that okay should i consciously try to do it okay thanks Look, beautiful And definitely, definitely, if some of you really struggle around the pattern and realizing, oh, everything is mine, okay, everything is, I design at this time, this world, just go on my, uh, sorry, my website and just only download the free guidance, free exercise around the limiting beliefs. That's really profound one. That's really profound one. It's completely free. Uh, the only thing you need to just only go and have a look and yes if something will be just only um calling you to do or my book a session or just only talk with me or just only write uh the um, the email just only let me know or just only read some posts because a lot of lots of different blogs on my uh, website is directing to that pattern and there will be a more and there will be a more and at the end of the june i'm going to announce something big let me just tell you a little bit sneaky peeky so there will be a lots of lots of uh, courses and yes how to tap to your inner ability to heal yourself around the somatic symptoms and you will be just only unraveling and how reprogram your subconscious mind step by step and more and more and more so yes yeah, stay tuned at the end of the june june yes june june yes there will be lots of lots of things on my website if <sighs> Let me just only finish here because I've got a lot of things to talk about it. But the only thing I would like to just only remind you, you are responsible for your life. You are responsible for everything what you're going through now. Don't blame, don't judge. And the best one at the end, when you're judging, when you're judging something in your life, just only saying, oh, those people, they behave that, that, like, like that. Or oh, that human is not awake. Or oh, that uh, lady, she's doing this or she's doing that. It's not like that don't judge or oh, somebody is really angry or oh, somebody got a lot of frustration in their body in their mind or they react or they just no don't do that because that's a judgment always a judgment when you are saying like that just go and have a look inside yourself because some of the aspects of you really needs to be transformed and transmute and you need to accept it and you need to allow it to go away okay let it go that's all about it stop judging yourself stop judging others when you're judging others you're judging yourself and go and have a look inside yourself what did i suppress inside me what did i i don't want to see it i don't want to face it okay if somebody's triggering you bless them and say hallelujah it's amazing i'm growing i'm evolving okay thank you so much for watching me and go on my youtube channel and go also on my website and sign up for the beautiful free free literally free uh, exercise about the limiting beliefs it's completely free it's completely free but it can change your mind and change your life definitely and thank you so much and spread the word and share this video as far as you would like to thank you thank you thank you
have an awesome day, have an awesome night, have an awesome morning. I don't know, beginning of the day. I don't want to say morning because the morning, you know, what does that mean? The power of the words and the meaning of the words. Speak to you soon.